Hi friend, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And if you're watching these videos in real time, we're in the middle of a month on pixels. And we've talked about in this series, in this playlist, which we'll link to here, we've talked all about controlling pixels. How to, you know, get pixel controllers and pixels like these ones I have behind me, how to grab control of them physically, and begin running animations and video and effects across them. And it's been a lot of fun. Uh, pixels, I believe, are definitely one of those up and coming things where a couple years ago, it was really difficult to put together a pixel project um, and do a really great job with it. Fast forward to today and going into the future, um, doing it on an affordable basis has never been more available to more people, okay? And one of the things that you think about when you think about working with pixels, one of the things that I think about is control, okay? Now, if you're just running a live show, maybe for a church or a band or a DJ, and you go ahead, you're running your pixels from a lighting console, you're good to go, okay? But what if you need to run something standalone? What if you need to run a pixel installation that maybe just needs to run automatically when it gets power, maybe it needs to be on a timer or something like that. How do you do that? Well, there are a number of solutions out there to get this done. You could use a lighting software and have it maybe run on a schedule and this can be kind of clunky. Or um, I was sent the PixOut controller from the lovely people at PixOut. And to give you a little history on the PixOut controller, this is a, a unit that's been in my radar for a couple years. We're going to open it up here. It was first mentioned to me by a friend who works in the pixel industry as this little box that you can buy. Uh, this version is the complete outdoor rated one. You can use it indoors, of course. Um, and what it does is it fills that gap, okay? It's not a pixel controller. It doesn't output to pixels like some of the pixel controllers we've talked about on this channel previously. Uh, but what it does is it records, stores, schedules, triggers, and plays back pixel shows. And as I mentioned, uh, a friend in the pixel industry, somebody who doesn't work with or for Pixel, had mentioned this product to me uh, two or three years ago, probably. I don't know, with the way 2020 has been, I don't remember how many years ago it was. Um, but they mentioned this to me. And I took note of it, um, but never really had a good opportunity to try it. So when PixOut reached out to me and said this to me looking for my opinion, I said, sure, why not? So I literally just got it out of the box here. And what I want to do now is put it together, plug it in, hop into the computer and get control. So first things first, there's a couple of pieces that you get. Uh, being weatherproof, you get the main box. This is like the, the computer. It's in a weatherproof IP65 rated box. First thing you've got is a power cable, okay? Uh, that goes into a waterproof power supply that comes with it. So connect that guy up, waterproof connectors. Again, you know, if you're indoors, this may not matter to you. It's fine, right? I mean, it doesn't, it's not gonna hurt you. Um, and then, of course, you've got a two-pronged end. It's nice that the connections are all different so that you really can't mess hooking this up. And then we plug that into power. All of these easily mountable. They've got nice mounts to screw it into the wall on both the power supply and the unit itself. And then in the box also, there is a short set of instructions to get started. And of course, links to the full manual. So now let's go ahead, hop into the computer and hop into the PixOut controller. And what I want to do is take a look at, okay, how do we get control of this thing? How do we plug it in, you know, get, get control? What's configuration look like? And how do you figure out if something like this is right for you? Let's dive in. So I'm here, I've got my PixOut installation guide. And what we're going to do, the quick installation guide, is we're gonna go ahead and set a static IP address on the computer. That's the first step. Well, the first step is plug it in. So ethernet plugged in, comes with a boot for the uh, ethernet to make it waterproof if desired. Power plugs in. 
So now we go ahead and set a static IP address on our computer. So we're just going to go ahead and do that super quick. I always go the old way through change adapter settings, though I think you can do it now um, without that. I have disconnected myself as well. My Ethernet's usually connected to my office network. No, 2.0.0.1 uh, will work just fine. Subnet mask there is fine. And then we need to set the gateway to 0 .0 .0 0. 0.0.0.0. It doesn't like that. I don't know about a gateway like that, but that's okay. It should be fine. So now we're going to connect ourselves to 2.0.0.230. And then there is an address slash px admin slash number sign slash network. Boom. There it is. It says network error, probably just that it doesn't have the internet. Um, so now we're connected. The player's on. We're licensed. We're ready to go. Okay. Next, um, you can connect to it and actually connect to your wireless router. Oh, so this connects to wireless as well. Let's take a look at how to use this. Okay, so admin panel, network. All right, so device must be connected to, okay, so we wanna to connect to wireless. So I'm going to grab my phone and connect to wireless here. I'll make sure I've got the correct setup. I will actually do that in a few minutes. For now, let's just use it wired. Or I guess we do need to go wireless um, on the, we'll go wireless on the control so that we can plug in to a pixel controller wired. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop in. I'm going to set this on my network here, wireless. Uh, so that I can control it wireless. I'm going to play around with it, work with some settings, set some things up, and then hop back, let you know what I think about this um, for those instances where you want to control a lot of pixels, but you don't have a console for it. All right, so we're back into things here. I got this thing figured out, read the manual a little bit, and truth be told, it was pretty easy to get going. So let me show you what I did. Um, I went in, and first of all, there's there's really no configuration to the PixOut recorder because it's basically just a middleman, right? You use a lighting console or any other ArtNet source to record, and then you play that back. So if you think about it, your lighting console, for example, here with all these pixels, is Onyx, okay, in this instance. I've got something rolling on it right now. And I've configured Onyx to send data via ArtNet. When I was recording, I had it sending uh, both to my pixels via my pixel controller back here and to the IP address for the PixOut recorder. Then all you gotta do is go to groups here. Under queues, you create a new group. Um, so we're just gonna call this test three. You go ahead, this is pretty simple. Click on it, hit record. Given a name, this was tripping me up before. Um, it's really simple. I just totally missed it. Um, and so it'll tell you if you're not giving it a good name. Um, it doesn't like spaces. But then you got to press the little check mark here. I was missing that earlier. And then you hit grab. When you hit grab, two things happen. You see here, it says recording in progress. So it's recording my output right now from Onyx. Um, like, for example, we'll switch to a different pixel map. Again, I'm not sending to the pixels right now, so you don't see it. So we just record a bunch of stuff, we'll hit stop. And then this grabbed the ArtNet stream that I'm sending out of Onyx. And again, this could be any lighting controller. And then I can go in here and I don't think I have to assign a universe or anything. I've set all that up on the nodes page uh, for my outputs. And just to show you that, three universes right now because that's what I got behind me. Nice and simple set up. Um, if you have your network set up properly, again, I just set this up super quick. You should see the nodes automatically uh, via art pull, but I just set this up quick and then we hit play. Boom. We see it happen. So 
couple cliff notes here on the picks out recorder on what it can do what it can't do um see there's me switching stuff in onyx a few minutes ago is you can come in here you can record all kinds of stuff here right there's one with color um originally because it's called picks out right it's called picks out i was thinking it was just pixels and yeah you know that's what they definitely aim this at is the pixel type projects but it's really not just pixels okay because it's recording the artnet stream at the end of the day and it doesn't have a setup as to how the pixels or stuff is laid out and so it's just artnet so you can control any stage lighting with this uh if you have some sort of automated display so let's talk about what kind of configurations we have here for okay the kind of things we're gonna run from a pix out controller okay the biggest um the biggest attribute the biggest benefit of the pix out controller is the control so just as an example if i go straight to the ip address and not the admin which is hidden by default i get this page okay this is just a player right so i can play their demo which does light up on my pixels i can change that brightness let's see does it change we're just going to type in 10. oh it definitely changes <laughs> and then you can also speed it up so 500 percent. anybody oh maybe not past 100 percent. anyways you can black it out super quick Oh, and it is fading to a blackout. That's nice. Um, and so there's a lot you can do here with, with playing these just, you know, right here on this screen. You can set background images in the background, etc. cetera. Um, well, that's busy. Let's, let's change to something a little more chilled out. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> no, seriously, back to their demo. Um, and so there's a lot you can do here, but the real control here, especially when you're thinking about doing a permanent pixel installation or maybe you're doing a um let's put that brightness back up maybe you're doing um, an installation with a bunch of lights in a lobby somewhere and you need a recorder that can be triggered okay so this one on these playlists we can do schedules okay um can repeat daily weekly monthly yearly hourly every minute okay so you can schedule these records that you've put in uh trigger wise there are gpio pinouts because you can use a raspberry pi uh, with this unit we'll talk about that in a second midi artnet triggering so say you have a lighting console in the venue or some other artnet device um, and then dmx so there's a number of little triggering options like gpio here um, though it looks like code here basically you can go in here and you can hook up like a light switch i think to these pins and not with full voltage, but you just get five volt power off one of the pins. You run it to a simple toggle switch. Somebody hits the switch, it lets the five volt power to the other pin. And then uh, my understanding is when it sees that, it starts doing whatever you suggest it do from this drop down. Okay, super cool. Um, that you could just do that. Um, again, that's a little beyond me, but I know some people really like to play with that. So there's a lot you can do in terms of triggering here um, and getting things going. And overall, it's really simple to use. So it's definitely for that permanent installation type thing where you want to have some triggering options. Maybe you just put this on a touch screen or actually, where's my phone? Um, they have an app. And so as long as you're on the same network as the wireless, which I will pop mine on right here. We just go ahead, I just open the app, and now it's got all my stuff in there. I'm gonna press one of them, and it goes. Press another one, and it's the same interface that we saw there, just on a phone. It's it's really that stinking simple. Um, so options-wise, um, the Pixel controller is pretty inexpensive. Um, this thing's a really good value. So what you can do, oh, this actually did load even though I'm not online technically um because i'm talking to the controller um there's a lot going on here so they've got basically 255 artnet universes enabled in this guy and it goes for i'm not on the internet <laughs> let me go on the internet super quick so they've got a few options here of devices um this one the s100 that they sent me 
It's got, I think, minus 64 universes unlocked, or maybe the whole 255. Um, and they go for, again, it's in euros because welcome to the entertainment industry. And they have a variety of options, universe options available, um, and the power plug. And they are, oh, they're on Amazon too. Let's see. Oh, just Amazon in Europe, I think. Um, but again, that's like 700 euros. So really, if you're doing 64 universes of Artnet, um, you know, you're going to have 700 bucks in your budget, right, um, for your project. Uh, they also have DIY versions, which is just the software that you use with a Raspberry Pi and it is activated. So that's a great option as well if you want to keep that price down because um, it does, you know, knock 100 bucks off it or so. Um, so. Hope you enjoyed this video, this overview of the Pixel, uh, Pixel controller. And uh, really, I mean, like they say here, lighting solutions to meet your needs. Because ultimately, you know, they target this as a Pixel type controller and a design to be able to run Pixel type shows on permanent installations like they show here. But ultimately, it's more than that. It's a full Artnet server you know it's something that can record and play back artnet it can do it on a schedule it can do it on command it can do it via a smart device um, an ios or an android and you know it's definitely something worth looking into if you have an instance where you need to record some data you don't want to have a pc you don't want to have a more expensive console left on site you know maybe use a full console to program but then you want to leave it real basic touchscreen based control for the end client to be able to play things back. This is a great option for you. And in truth be told, there's not a lot of options on the market, not a lot of products that do what this does and do it so, so fluidly. So Pixout.Lighting, check it out. Thanks to Pixout again for sending me their device. Um, be sure to check it out if you're interested in it. We'll have a link below. And I will see you guys in our next video here on Learn Stage Lighting. I hope you have a great day. See ya.